everybody. So one of the new things I thought I wanted to do since um, the start of the year and just kind of in my my whole like refresh start um, mode for the year, I got the idea that I needed to have some life in our house besides like people and animals. So I thought we needed to have some plants. I've never had house plants before and I've always thought they were a I was gonna kill them but also we've had pets and we've had kids and I never thought there was a way that I could have them without the kids getting into them or you know the dogs eating them and stuff like that so I never wanted to deal with it I never wanted to worry about the maintenance of it but then um, I got to thinking that I could hang planters kind of got on a little kick about it so I've been researching plants and talked to some friends of mine that are gonna make some cuttings for me so I don't have to go invest in expensive house plants that I may not keep alive very well so they're helping me out they're getting some plants started for me and then um, I got a delivery from good old Amazon I thought I would do an unboxing real quick because um, I bought some planters and I bought some pots now I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what the right thing is <laughs> But I bought what I thought looked pretty. I have no idea if they're the right size. Like, you know, when you get stuff on Amazon and it comes and it's like this big and you thought it was like the picture, you thought it was way bigger. But anyway, we're going to unbox. We're going to see if I ordered anything close to what I wanted. And then we may hang them in the spot by my bed that I'm thinking of. Um, and then we'll wait for the plants to come and I'll finish a whole like houseplant vlog. And, um... Yeah, we'll see if I can keep them alive for how long. <laughs> That'll be the test of 2021. How long can we keep the plants alive? It is the winter right now, and we'll just have to see if there's enough light and uh, um, everything to keep things going. I know that plants live indoors. They just kind of go dormant for the winter. I've got some, I think I've got some succulents and some non-succulents. We'll see, just regular house plants. I will learn more about them and fill you in. I am obviously not an expert, but I'm trying to learn. Like, that's the whole... That's the whole point of this year is to try new things and to start new things I've always wanted to do um, and things that hopefully will bring joy and happiness and light and just positivity to our lives and our house. And I know that they say having house plants are nice. It's just nice for the, the life that is in your home and the earth and the, the nature that comes indoors. But also like plants have, um, they are air purifiers. They breathe in the carbon dioxide and they let off oxygen and um, purify your air and so that obviously can't be a bad thing especially in these days when our air is questionable um, <laughs> what we what we have to go expose ourselves to these days so um, yeah I thought I would do do some house plants and start small and see what we can get going um, let's do an unboxing My mom always had house plants growing up and I mean she still has the same plants that she's had since I was little so I always associated having plants with kind of like being old <laughs> but I guess I am to that age so now I am officially old but all right let's see what we have we have I bought some different size pots to put in the um I guess I could put them anywhere but um and I like got some different designs. There is drainage, but I'll we'll have to see what the right thing to do is with these. So here's some pots. And then this is the main thing that I got. Um, they are macrame hanging baskets. So I can put the pots in here, theoretically, if I got the right size. So let's see. I think there's there's one set that has that can hang three pots in the same line one that can hang two and then three of them that just hang a single plant so here's the what came with it kind of an insert you can see there's three two and then one so what do we got This 
one looks like it would be the spot for two. So it has a hanging spot here at the bottom. And I think it has a spot here, kind of halfway. So that's cool. One. Not sure which ones. I have a spot by my bed, kind of in the corner. I want to hang a couple, but I'm not sure which styles. So this is just one. But I think they're going to be so cute. And they're just like, I love this macrame style. It's just kind of natural, earthy. Like it comes with hooks to put in the ceiling. a long one this is a three so it will hold three pots one down here two and then one at the very tippy top that's fun and they're pretty long like yeah I don't think I was afraid they were gonna be too small but I think these are all good size so um, and they're all a little bit different so they're not gonna be identical another one they've got little beads on them and last one. Oh, and this one has like, can you see the design? That's cute. That was super cute. <clears throat> yeah, these are, I didn't think they would be, they're kind of cute. They're like, they have little flowers on them. Fun. Cool. So those are all the different ones, plus my pots. Um, I wasn't sure what I, what style I would like, so I got a couple different kinds, and then I got one more in here. Well, I'm not going to open this all the way, but I know what it is. It is a glass, like, globe, like, fishbowl style. So kind of big. I might have to save it for later until the plants get bigger, but um, I thought that would be kind of cool just to see a little more earth, so maybe put some rocks in the bottom, just a little more decorative. So one of these, plus my plastic pots and my macrame hanging basket thing. So I have to go upstairs and figure out the right place to put these, and I will film the rest of that in a little bit. Okay, so I am up in the bedroom, and I have this spot Kind of the beds down here big um, south facing window so my idea is to put the um, hanging like maybe three hanging basket um, hangers in this corner for now and then I'll have some left over for maybe another part of the house maybe the bathroom anyway so I'm gonna go grab a ladder and we're gonna kind of see if I can get the hooks in where I think they should go I'm just guessing now remember this is the lady with the like neck problems and uh, previous arm weakness. I feel fine now, but if I look stupid and I can't get the hooks in the ceiling, I will wait till my husband comes back and we will do a part two. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a ladder. All right, so I've got my ladder and I've kind of marked with a Sharpie on the ceiling where I think I want my hooks to go. So I'm gonna grab these and see if I can muscle them into the ceiling without uh, too much trouble. I don't know if I should have used like drywall anchors. I mean, they seem pretty sturdy, but they may only just be through like the ceiling cord and nothing, nothing more than that. So if it's too heavy, we may have to put in the drywall anchors and figure that out. But there's really no instructions and I'm not a construction person. So we're going to go with that the way it is for now. Let's hang up some baskets and see. So there's option one. I don't know 
if you can see the the center one is kind of back a little farther in the corner i think they look cute i li i don't know if i don't know if i like the arrangement because that the one with the brown beads it's kind of off center because it doesn't match the other two that don't have beads so i'm not sure i think the symmetry will bother me if i don't switch something let's try a few different arrangements i also have the glass globe so i want to try that too here's the glass globe it's literally a fish bowl i don't know i'm just kind of guessing i guess if we don't like it we can always get a fish <laughs> let me rearrange and try a couple of other things What do we think? What do we think? I like it. I don't know if it's too heavy for the corner. Like maybe there's just too much. Like maybe I should just do two hang things. I do have one little plant that I have that's probably big enough to give us like an idea. So I'm gonna go grab that. So this is a pilia. Um, I had someone who I think had too many of these or didn't need this and so they let me try it out. So anyway, so here's what the greenery would look like in the space. Obviously my pots are bigger than what I have so far, but I definitely like the green and I like the life. I like the earthiness. So you can kind of see what it'll look like with some, some life in it. But, um, yeah, for now, <laughs> a little too big, but we'll repot them. We'll repot them and get them going. So anyway, here's what I have done. Round one. We will keep going and try to find the right plants for this space. All right. So I think I have a finished look for now. If anybody has any advice, please let me know down in the comments below, especially if you are a plant person or a design person. Let me know what you think about the space. This is what we're working with for now. We'll get some new plants and I will do a part two. So uh, follow along if you wanna see how it goes. If you have any uh, advice, let me know, like I said in the comments, be sure to like and subscribe so that you get notified when I get another video and you can kind of see the progress. Remember, that is the motto of the year, progress over perfection. If you wanna adopt it for yourself, I think it's a great quote for the year. I apologize if I don't do it perfect. I apologize if I maybe kill a houseplant along the way, but I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to have fun, and I'm trying to kind of upgrade our living space. So this is where we're at for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye.